I want you to imagine something. A land of vast rolling mountains, where the gullies are covered with dense, serene forests, and the summits are exposed with harsh, barren rock. This is a place where stags roam and titans congregate to do battle. Now I want you to imagine what it would be like to bow hunt such a paradise. This is my story. This is bow hunting Bulgaria. With bags eagerly packed, we navigate the hustle and bustle of the airport. Departing Australia, we leave for a largely unfamiliar destination. Multiple flights and 23 hours later, we land in Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria. We collect our belongings, relieved they'd survived the journey. Swift plans are set into motion as we transition from the bitumen and skyscrapers of the capital to smaller towns and eventually run-down villages with not much more than a goat track leading our way. When we arrived at the hunting lodge, the sights that greeted us is something I will never forget. The living room displaying the enormous trophies from this year's successful hunters. The walls lined with painting and taxidermy showcasing a culture rich in hunting. It was now our turn to discover why I would come all this way to Bulgaria. Bucks at least croak in front of us. There's a potential shooter over there, but there's a monster just right here in front of us, so we're just gonna belly crawl our way around the edge, get in behind some rocks, and we'll just wait until hopefully it gets into a fight. We'll just stay on their guts and then pop up once they start fighting, and hopefully, if we're within range, get an arrow into him. But see how we go. There's just so many animals up here, it makes it so hard. A gentle change in wind direction was all it took. With more croaking up the valley, we continued on. We weren't expecting to find a buck of this calibre so quickly. With plenty of cover, we moved in.
Excitement and impatience had proven a costly combination. Having not checked my bow after the flight, I discovered all too late that my sight had been knocked, causing me to shoot high. After sighting my bow back in, it was time to redeem myself. This is insane. Absolutely insane. The two days that followed disappeared in what seemed like a blink of an eye. Early starts and long days didn't generate the results we were after. The issue wasn't finding a buck, it was getting close enough to the right buck. During the rut, fallow deer congregate in rutting stands known as leks. The issue is these leks are located on open hilltops which don't favour stalking situations and close encounters easily. The biggest bucks are always congregated in the centre, which meant trying to navigate a maze of hundreds of eyes with a few basketball sized rocks as your only cover. This led to failed stalk after failed stalk, either being spotted in the final moments due to a lack of cover, or running out of daylight due to an inability to move quickly when required. With the hunting days and time fading on this hunt, it was time for a new approach. Well, last afternoon, um, in a new blind, was good for filming, um, and scared a whole lot of deer up this lek. There's two monster bucks. One I can still see is just down the hill, so fingers crossed he comes up soon. Should make for a promising afternoon full of action. Um, there's bucks fighting everywhere I can hear at the moment already, so see how we go for the afternoon. <coughs> Well, speechless to get this guy in the last afternoon. Um, I was watching him for about 15 minutes with this guy at 25 meters. Um, yeah, just sent the 175 grain odds cut and it's done the job. He's only made it about 70 meters down the hill. Um, but this week's been incredible. Um, a lot of highs, a lot of lows, um, but Bulgaria's definitely, definitely got a lot to offer and I'll, I'll be back chasing these guys in the rut for sure. <laughs>